First of all, we know that Tennessee is just very average when it comes to seatbelt usage, and we know due to the unbelted fatalities in the state, we mentioned that over half of our fatalities come from 15% of our population. So we'll try anything to try to increase that seatbelt usage because we know that that translates into more lives saved. So we took those numbers and we said, what can we do to create a program uh, that will increase the awareness, increase the media, increase our seatbelt usage, and ultimately save more lives? And that's when we came up with the SAFE campaign. It has been tried in some other states before with great success, and we took it and put a couple little twists of our own on it and made it our own as well. So uh, we're not uh, adverse to taking ideas from other people just as other people aren't adverse to taking ideas from us. We know that that's great because it works not only in our state, but in all 49 other states as well. will be increased media presence. You'll see a lot more click it or ticket this summer. Uh, abs absolutely more enforcement. You will see more seatbelt checkpoints. Uh, checkpoints are designed really not just to write tickets but to create awareness because when, when folks hear, hey, there's a seatbelt checkpoint, then the talk begins and everybody begins to say, hey, wow, they're serious about this. And we're serious about it because we know the seatbelt safe lives. The safe campaign illustrates that. Uh, East Tennessee, and particularly in the rural areas of East Tennessee, our seatbelt usage percentage is down a little bit. So what we're trying to do is increase that rate because we know it's going to translate into more lives saved. So increased media, increased enforcement, increased awareness for everybody, and those are the plans. Well, absolutely the competition. We haven't seen a competition where we've literally had some really good prizes uh, for the law enforcement agency. We're funded by the National Highway and Traffic Safety Administration, so all of our money is federal in the state, and we're the conduit through, through which federal money comes to the state, and then we get it out to the local governments or the highway patrol. So what we do is, in creating a healthy competition with our law enforcement networks and doing more checkpoints, we're able to say, the, we're able to use our federal dollars to issue uh, a vehicle uh, that actually will go to the winner of the competition. That's something really unique that's never been tried before. And East Tennessee's always had good luck when they've competed against the rest of the state. Uh, and, and we, obviously we utilize that as an incentive for them to participate in the program and it's one of those great allowable expenses uh, that we can do. So we've, we've uh, not necessarily taken liberties with that, but we've actually uh, said, try to just be more creative with how we utilize that. So we've seen some things that work and we've put those together and I think uh, the competition and the competitive nature of the SAFE program is something that we put a little twist on and made it our own.